Hi, folks, and welcome to Money and Politics. Hope you had a good day. Uh, we are going to be talking a little bit of a different story today. A lot of times I like to review what's happened in the market. This channel was started because I had, over the years, been giving advice to so many different people who never had invested before. They didn't know how to start. And they weren't just young kids. I'm, I'm happy to have young kids. There was a so let me just say the where I'm going with this is I want to just kind of talk from the heart a little bit uh, to all of you who are new to investing, whether you're a 20-year-old or a 50-year-old. And the thing is, as I say, uh, everything in life is largely emotional, right? Uh, the, the stock market is very emotional. And so... When I look at some of the stories that I'm familiar with, uh, a couple of years ago, I was talking to a business owner who had something along the lines of 50 employees, and he had been in business for a number of years, had a very successful business, but you know, he had never invested before, didn't know the first thing. So the fact if you're new to investing and you're feeling a little overwhelmed, um, I would say that is no reflection on your intelligence. Uh, there are people, I know people who are lobbyists, lawyers, doctors, business people, and it's to me criminal that we're not taught how to invest when we're in grade school, grade school, uh, but we're not. And so if you're kind of just picking it up right now, congratulations for picking it up. And I think I want this channel to be there to say there are no uh, stupid questions, so go ahead and ask questions. I used to say when I had a printing business, there's no stupid questions, there's stupid people who don't ask questions. Because sometimes people who were working for me wouldn't ask a question and get something clarified and would make a horrific mistake uh, and destroy a job that we had a lot of money invested in because they didn't ask a simple question. So if you need to know something, go ahead and ask a question. And not only will I attempt to answer it, but some of our fellow viewers can also respond and clarify that. So, you know, this is going to be a learning experience. That's the intellectual part. A big part of investing, a big part of life is emotional, right? Remember when you were a little kid and you were afraid to go to school and you didn't know who was going to like you, blah, 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 and you go to school, and within a week you're just happy, you got new friends, and, you know, you, you forget why you were ever afraid of it. I think getting into the market is going to be like that. Um, I spent uh, uh, about an hour on the phone this afternoon. I'm not going to identify the fellow, but there's, there's a, a, a friend of mine who never had money, and he's the one that brought this to my attention uh, because I had talked to him about getting started in investing uh, earlier in 2020. So this is around the beginning of uh, November, maybe mid-November, and he brought this TSMP to me. And uh, I looked at it and I don't, you know, I was saying I don't invest in penny stocks. But I went ahead and looked at it, and it's like, uh, why, why do I want to invest in this crazy flooring company uh, with a website they had that didn't work? So I kind of brushed it off. Fortunately, he followed up, my friend, and asked me about a week later, did you ever look at that, that stock I told you to buy? And I go, yeah, I looked at it. It's like, why, why would I want to buy a flooring company? And so he said, no, no, that's not the story. So finally, he told me the story about Humble and the merger and who Brian Foote is, and I got it. But I want to tell you, I was talking on the phone today for an hour with him and, uh, and an accountant. And why were we doing that? Because I was giving a little advice to my friend and the accountant was involved. And we're doing that because my friend who didn't have any money growing up and long story short, didn't have a career of making money, um, had about $5,000 to his name, if I have the story right, uh, around Halloween. And as of today, he's a millionaire. And he's a millionaire because of TSNP. 
And I think by the end of this year, he'll probably be worth in the neighborhood of $3 million. And I share that because there's a lot of you out there that might be putting big money for you, but maybe it's, maybe it's a couple hundred dollars, maybe, you know, and a lot, uh, listen, in COVID and the shutdown and uh, all of us, there's many people who are struggling, many people who are struggling. And, you know, God bless you if you're putting hard-earned money and taking a chance in the market. But I, I don't want to say it's a guaranteed thing that this is going to pay off. There's no guarantees in life. And you got to take risks. But where would my friend be today if he hadn't taken some risks? And he took some very big risks, risks that were bigger than I would have taken, frankly. But it's paid off for him. And I, I just share this story rather than going over what the numbers were today in the chart. We can do that another day. By the way, tomorrow I'm going to be on the, on the road for business and will not be able to post. But keep your eye on the long run. Keep your eye on where we're going. And, and as you are invested in Humble, and I hope you invest as we go along in some other things, I don't want you invested just in one stock, um, hang in there, okay? Don't lose heart, have hope, uh, try to remain optimistic. I think one of the great things about investing is the emotional hope it gives you. It, it, the idea that you can change your life dramatically and maybe not as quickly as my friend did from Halloween to here in February, but even if it changes rather dramatically over the period of one, two, or three years, this is 2021. How long ago was 2018? It doesn't seem that long ago, right? So don't think like three years is a long time. Uh, three years is quick. And you're, one of the benefits I think you will get from investing is just day by day, it gives you a reason to hope and a real reason to hope. Um, and you'll be able to see your wealth grow over time. I have a, another friend I just got off the phone with before I made this video. And his uh, father is a coal miner and never invested in anything. And he put like, I think it was $500 in there and he's up several hundred dollars into Humble, he put it, you know, because of penny stock. He could afford to buy some shares for $500. And this man is, I think about 55 or so. Um, and, you know, it's just like magic. It's magic that you can invest some money and, and get some. It is magical. I learned that magic years ago. I told that story. I, I bought 10 shares of Polaroid. I think I had $700 and made like $150 profit uh, in about three weeks. And it works, you know. It's just amazing, isn't it? That all this time that we think we have to be only making money by punching a time clock, and that's not true. And if you're only making money by punching a time clock, as I said in other videos, you're probably gonna struggle to get ahead. So that's the message for today, hope, okay? Invest, don't panic, hang in there, enjoy the ride, and we'll be here with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to talk with you uh, through these videos. I enjoy your, your comments. Keep them coming, and uh, we'll see you again. Good investing, everyone.